approximately 1.1 million people in the United States are living with HIV, which is the human immunodeficiency virus. And only four out of 10 of them are getting HIV medical care regularly. HIV positive persons who are in HIV medical care are able to get needed medication that will keep them healthy by decreasing the amount of virus in their blood. The process may be difficult and may cause fear and concerns, but there are people available who can help. All right, well, Charlie, what can we do for you today? Last week, I found out that I have HIV. Uh, the person who gave me the results told me that you can help me get into medical care. Honestly, I feel fine. I just want to know what my options are. Okay. Yeah, so we can help you with that. So basically, we have a program set up that will help you get linked into medical care. We'll walk you through the process, guide you through those first couple of medical appointments, prepare you for what the medical provider um, is going to ask, and we can go over any questions that you may have for the medical provider. I don't really need to see a doctor right now. Um, it's not like I'm sick or anything. I just want to know uh, if I can still have sex without uh, giving HIV to anyone else. Well, first of all, it's good to know that you're feeling fine um, and that you're still interested in sex, which is sometimes a challenge for people when they're first diagnosed with HIV. So that's all really good. Um, and a lot of times when someone is newly diagnosed, they, they do feel fine. And that can be a reason why they don't get into medical care. So it's really important that you do get into care. Uh, if you don't, it can lead to some significant problems down the line. Um, also, getting into care can lower the virus and lower the amount of virus that's in your blood, which makes it less likely for you to pass it on to your partners through, especially through unprotected sex. And for the record, I'm not encouraging you to have unprotected sex, but the facts are the facts. What kind of problems can having HIV cause and how can getting into HIV treatment help my sex life? So. Uh, we know HIV inf it impacts the immune system, and the immune system is what helps us fight off infection and disease. Um, over time, if, if uh, we're not in, you're not in care, then the immune system is going to get weaker. So basically, getting you into care will allow us to keep tabs on your immune system and let us know kind of where you are. When you come in for your initial appointment, they're going to do a physical, they're going to do some blood work. Um, it's going to give us a baseline. Um, it's going to tell us a couple of things. One, it'll tell us if we need to get you into get you on medication right now. It'll let us know how much of the virus is in your blood. They will also look at your CD4 count or your T cell count, um, and that is a measure of how strong your immune system is. So the higher your CD4 count is, then the stronger your immune system is. So after they look at all of those things, uh, we kind of have a baseline for you specifically, and then we can put together a treatment plan that's going to be specific to you and how HIV is working in your body. And then once you get on that and we get you maintained, it's really just, you know, a couple of times a year that you'll actually have to come in and see the medical provider. How's that sound? I have no idea y'all can do all of that, but how does that affect my sex life? <laughs> so being in medical care is uh, the only way you can get access to the medication. And we know the medication is, is what keeps you healthy. So if you get on medication, if you take it properly, then you have the ability to get your viral load to an undetectable level. And if your viral load is undetectable, then the chances of you transmitting HIV, whether it be via breast milk, semen, vaginal secretions, or blood, become pretty slim to none. So if you have uh, sexual partners, you have sex with them, the chances of you transmitting HIV to them are very, very small. Well, I definitely want to stay healthy and keep my sexual partners healthy as well. What do I have to do next? So the next steps is you'll come back in and we'll schedule an appointment. We will get your medical appointment set up and then we'll also do an assessment to see if there's any other things that you may need um, support wise. It's going to help you to stay in care. Um, if there are any barriers that you may be facing, any challenges that you may be facing that may keep you from getting to appointments or keep you from staying in care. Um, so for example, uh, we have a program if uh, you we provide bus passes, so we can give you bus passes to help you get to and from appointments. Um, if you need food, uh, we have a, a program we can make a referral to a food pantry and we can get you food on a regular basis. Really just being kind of a one-stop shop to be able to provide the support that's going to help you to stay in medical care because, of course, in the end, that's the most important thing. Okay, um, can we set up an appointment? Absolutely, let's do it. Studies have shown that in 9 out of 10 new cases of HIV infection, the virus was transmitted by someone who was not receiving HIV medical care. Getting into care is an important part of a person's health and plays a major part in stopping the spread of HIV. 
If you or someone you know is HIV positive and not in care, please encourage them to contact an HIV medical provider. There are resources and people who can assist. Thanks for watching.